Markovic, and today for my final business analytics presentation, I will be looking at a company, Walmart, that operates in the retail industry and how they use big data to actually achieve a competitive advantage in the market. We all know Walmart to be this huge grocery store and retail giant and has been operating for years and years and was founded by Mr. Sam, etc., etc. But did you know that Walmart has a unique way of collecting big data to achieve a competitive advantage to set themselves apart and market their unique selling proposition? Before I kickstart and look into how Walmart does this effectively, I just want to break a few ideas of why we need big data and, what, and why it is important for us. So big data and the whole process of data science, business analytics and business intelligence is used to make smarter decisions, to predict outcomes by using predictive analytics, as well as looking at data-driven occasions, and in addition to this, to break down the different processes and understand the growth opportunities that every business can have. By understanding this, I want to move on to look at how the importance of data science in business is a vital process. Yes, data science is actually more than just a buzzword. So data science in business, as I said, is used for smarter decisions, predicting outcomes, making better products. This is very important for Walmart, when we will look at it in a little bit in, uh, in the future in the presentation, to understand how they set a competitive advantage and they place their essential focus on the customer. In addition to this, we can manage the business efficiently and effectively, and we can also use predictive analytics, and we have to make a, a, a crucial focus on leveraging data for business decisions. So, let's kick start and looking into what Walmart is. A little bit brief history to understand where Walmart operates. They are one of the biggest retail giants in the retail industry. They are the largest retail corporation. They, have, they are founded under three main areas. So we know Walmart to be Walmart in the United States, Walmart International and Sam's Club. And they operate in 27 countries in Europe, in China. They operate in major continents and very drastically in the United States as well. So after looking at what Walmart is, it's important to see as a whole where Walmart stands and why it's important for them to use big data to achieve a competitive advantage. We know Walmart's competitors to be Best Buy, Amazon, Target, and one of the crucial competitors that we will see also towards the future of the presentation is Amazon. So the industry overview, we know that when we are looking at the industry as a whole, both the retail industry, we see that the whole process throughout it the whole time is emerging trends and technology. And a very big crucial factor over here, like Walmart Target, is that they are based on brand image. How the customers perceive the brand to be different as compared to others. The industry has progressed constantly over the last few years. But now, we know that with the coronavirus situation, we can see that the industry will either progress towards growing more, because there will be an ever, ever needed demand with the changes in the world, or we may be seeing a maturation and a saturation towards decline. This takes me to the industry life cycle. So just like a product life cycle, there is a very uh, big similarity over here. However, we see that we are looking at the industry sales and the time growth. When we look at the embryonic stage, we are looking when the industry or when the competitor is introduced newly in the industry. For example, Walmart was in the embryonic stage in 62 when it was first invented and came out into the world. Towards the growth, the shakeout is a little bit before it starts saturation, before the maturity stage, when perhaps it is starting to dwell down. Maturity is when we are at the peak. For example, Coca-Cola is a mature company, and then decline. When we reach the decline stage, we want to sort of extend the graph. Perhaps we can use extensive strategies, such as um, product differentiation, packaging, brand differentiation, etc. We can argue that um, Walmart is still a growing one. It is operating in 27 countries. It is essentially the largest retail corporation. So they are growing very, very well. They are growing exponentially, and they will reach maturation pretty soon. Now, the whole concept of big data, we said to predict outcomes, to make smarter business decisions, to be effective and to be efficient. But before we actually achieve all this and we achieve our competitive advantage, we have to look at how Walmart collects data. Both Amazon, which is one of the main competitors for Walmart, and Walmart use loyalty programs. They track us, they use cookies, etc. But since Walmart is an actual retail giant, they use their loyalty products, the Walmart credit card, and the Walmart reward card to collect our data. From the data that they collect on us, they look at our shopping times, the target demographic, when they shop, what they shop, how many prescriptions are filled every single day at the Walmart pharmacy. And then they use this data, they compile it to predict customer spending, predict our timing, and personalize our customer experience. 
All of this is done by understanding the customer's journey. Essentially, what happens from when a customer decides that he needs a product until he buys it, and the process starts all over again. So, this is a very important graph. We can see the total number of Walmart stores worldwide from 2008, basically showing us that truly Walmart is a giant in the retail industry. In 2008, they had 7,288 stores worldwide. The highest was about in 2018 when they had 11,718 stores worldwide. And now in 2020, we have 11,501. We can see a tiny decrease from 2017, 18, 19 to 20. We also know that um, in the late 80s and 90s, they, they kind of withdrew from Germany because of the cultural differences. Although they have um, decreased slightly from 2018 to 2020, they are truly still the largest retail corporation and are still making a great competitive advantage for themselves. So we saw how Walmart pre, um, collects our data. Now why is this important and how they use it? One, to make efficient business decisions. Two, to improve customer store checkout experiences. None of us love the process of going to a huge grocery shopping on a weekend and then standing in large queues. Self-checkout and having to increase the efficiency of the store operations is very important. They use big data to track when we are at the store the most, what is the peak hour in the store and what are the peak products and how to improve the efficiency. They analyze our purchasing patterns so that they can better display the products that the customers want. They have to increase the stock of high demand products. For instance, in an area like the city, for instance, they will want to have stuff that is more capable to the city people, whereas in a location where it's a young area, perhaps maybe more baby products, stuff like that, and they have to cater to the needs of the customers. They are always going to focus on creating big data to know what we want, to predict our outcomes, our, our purchasing patterns, and achieve a competitive advantage. This takes me to another important graph, which is the year over year, weekly foot traffic growth of Walmart neighborhood markets in the COVID-19 situation. So in week 11 and week 12 was when we saw the coronavirus outbreak just recently in the United States. This was perhaps the 9th and 10th of March. And the focus over here was in week 11 and 12, we saw a great increase in the number of people who were going to the Walmart stores and how they increased. We see that in week 11, when the coronavirus just took and it was declared as a global pandemic, 37.9% of people ran to the stores to shop. The global pandemic situation, we were rearing out of the toilet paper pretty much, and we can see why, because of the large numbers. The next graph shows the total share of food and beverage spent as compared to Walmart and Amazon. As we said previously, Amazon is one of the main competitors for Walmart. So we see that Walmart has a pretty straight curve, is a pretty linear, from 18.5%. Over 18% they have reached it, and Amazon has grown to 1.8% for the food and beverage spend. Of course, Amazon started as a bookstore and then converted, so they are gradually tapping into the grocery and retail sector. So we see that Walmart is pretty stable as compared to Amazon, this is a great advantage for us. So moving on, we have to see how the, comp how the data that they are collecting and how they are using is actually helping them achieve a competitive advantage. Value orientation and good customer service Fluidity in the supply chain, a very important one. Walmart wants to make sure that they can track our purchasing patterns, understand our timing, understand our demographics, to see that they can ensure a fluidity in the supply chain. From the moment the products are in the supplier's hand and the whole journey till they are in the stores, the customer purchases them and then goes home and then the whole process begins again. The identification of optimized supply processes to ensure the fluidity, hence this cross. The integration of technology and improving a better customer experience mobile application and e-site shopping sites. So this is very important. They want to follow along to what Amazon is doing. So they are collecting big data to, um, leverage the, to leverage the big data and improve the customer experience. They know that there is a very big progression towards online shopping and so they have developed the mobile application. And then the variety of products. We want to have big data, leverage it to understand what the customer wants and give the variety of products to those customers. And that is truly how they achieve a competitive advantage. With the use of big data, there are always issues. There are ethical issues, moral issues, but most of all, there are breaches. We don't like data breaches, and they are very, very serious. There was a very big data breach that actually Walmart had encountered, where 1.3 million customers' data, both in the United States and Canada, was publicly displayed, past 
passwords were not encrypted. They were basically in plain text and everyone could access this data from the name, the address, the contact information, and even the financial information, including social security of the customer. It is very important to know that when the big data is collected, the focus has to be on ensuring the ethical standardization and collection of the data and making sure that it's safe and encrypted. Now, this takes you to see how Walmart collects data differently than its competitors. How are the processes different, different and how do they achieve the comparative advantage differently? So in black, we have Amazon, navigation on site. They track us by cookies. For instance, if I purchase a pair of shoes, perhaps they will say other people have purchased this with this product. They will recommend me a variety of products. The time spent on each page. If I'm looking at, let's say, sports clothing, if I'm going to be there for 30 minutes and then I come back the next day, again, maybe they may recommend me that page because I was there for an X amount of time. And the use of external platforms. Perhaps there was an Amazon ad sponsored on Facebook and I clicked it. So how there is a correlation between the external platform as well. In blue, on the other hand, we have Walmart. We said they collect data through loyalty programs, through predictive analytics to predict outcomes for the customer choices and shopping experience and the discount offers that are targeted. When they use the big data, they achieve a competitive advantage by giving us discount coupons, etc., based on the purchases that we make. It's time to tie in everything together. Using big data as businesses, Walmart using big data, making a, making a competitive advantage for themselves and being the largest retail giant. How do they do it? Their focus is on enhancing, optimizing, and customizing the shopping experience. When Walmart first began, Mr. Sam's vision and mission was to have the customers spend less so they can truly live a better life. Walmart does this in the following way. The customer preference and shopping patterns is crucial to Walmart and they leverage big data to achieve a comparative advantage. <laughs> they value the boost and they have to focus on maintaining ethical standards in order to avoid breaches. All in all, I can positively say that Walmart truly has managed to make a comparative advantage for themselves by not only setting themselves apart, but by doing it in an excellent way. These were the references for my presentation. Thank you very much for your time.